So we know we're sort of in the middle of uh, prom season for a lot of area high schools. I've been, you've probably seen it on, on different social outlets. Everybody's going to prom, that sort of thing. Um, talk to parents out there. What kind of information would you want to make sure and share with parents? Well, you know, just be up front with your, with your children. You know, we were all kids one time. So, you know, I always tell parents, you know, don't forget what you did when you were a teenager. Um, talk to your kids, make them make smart decisions. Uh, if they make a wrong decision, it can affect them for the rest of their life. You know, do not drink and drive. We, we, we preach this every year during prom season. Do not drink and drive. If you find yourself in a bad predicament, don't be afraid to call your parents. They'd much rather you, you call them, be a little disappointed that you made a poor decision than for me to come knocking on their door at 2 in the morning and give them some devastating news. So I would just say do not drink and drive. Make smart choices. Have a plan for your evening, and by all means, parents, just always remember. I had, a, I had parents ask me one time, how often do you think teenagers drink and drive on the weekends? I said, well, let me ask you, when you were a teenager, how often did teenagers drink on the weekends? And, you know, you get that gasp. So be smart. Yeah, and uh, what I would say to parents uh, when we're talking about we, switching gears from drinking and driving to texting and driving, is um, you have to be start, starting at a very early age. I mean, when your kids are in the back seat of the car and they are uh, five years old, six years old, seven year old, they see that you're texting and they are going to be teenagers soon. And I, I think that, you know, even, even if you're texting and driving while you're, if you choose to do that while you're in the car by yourself, uh, think about it especially hard when you have a child in the car because they're watching what you're doing and you want them, they're gonna do whatever it is that you do. You can tell them don't do this all day long, but when they see you texting and driving and remember that you did it all those years, uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna be really important uh, to them later on, especially if you don't and you just say, kids, we don't do that. Uh, that's what we're trying to teach kids in schools these days. You know, and that's what we're trying to ask parents to do is to set good examples. Absolutely. I would say this to parents too is as uh, unless your child pays for their cell phone and writes a check out every month, that's your cell phone. And uh, my daughter, you know, she knows that we check her phone more, her mother more than I do. So look at your children's phone. You're going to see those Snapchat messages with them driving down the road. We've seen it on ours. So don't be afraid to go through your, your child's phone, see what they're doing. And you'll see that if they're doing things on that cell phone that, that they shouldn't be doing. So remember, if that you pay the bills, it's your phone, it's not theirs.